in for a third time for you as an owner for Chris. Yeah, just a, a really great day for us, RFK. And, you know, um, a few weeks ago we were sitting down and kind of going over the goal and, and visions and what we value. And one of the things we brought up was one, two finishes. And uh, it's been a very long time since this company's had one, two finishes. I, I can't say a specific date, but it's something that means a lot to me. Of course, I wanted to be the one on the, the front of that, but uh, proud nonetheless uh, of Chris and his efforts and, and both teams where they, they've grown and come together and uh, doing all the right things to, to grow us uh, and to, to just take us to that next level. And uh, today was uh, just another kind of feather in our cap, and uh, we're really proud. Awesome. We'll go ahead and open it up for questions. If you have one, please raise your hand, and we'll get Mike to you. We'll start with Holly, and then go with Tuli, and then Jerry. Hi, Holly Kane with the NASCAR Wire Service. Brad, how hard was that? I mean, I know you're happy to finish one, two, but was it a question of you knew you weren't going to get around him and you knew that was the best finish for you guys? Or just take me through, because I know that that's hard, too, to be the one that's second in that. Yeah, well, you know, the second is, uh, you know, first loser. But, uh, you know, we could have ended up in a ball of flames in three and four, two, and that would have looked pretty dumb, <laughs> Holly. So... Uh, you know, the cars were, were certainly on the edge there at the end, and I got a good push from Eric Almarone. I was able to carry that through to my teammate, Chris Buescher, and, uh, and clear him. But there were a lot of cars just breathing down our back, and uh, it would have been really difficult, to, uh, I think, to pull a move off without, you know, probably wrecking both of us. So uh, happy for Chris. We still achieved one of our big results. Of course, we wanted to win today, but we wanted to get fifth in the regular season points and kind of take all those bonus points with us into uh, next week from, uh, you know, uh, being fifth rather than being 11th or 12th, whatever it was we could have fallen back to. And that's uh, uh, going to bode well for us uh, in the playoffs, I'm sure. You know, every year you see somebody uh, get knocked out by one or two points, and uh, that's great defense for us against that. But, uh, you know, we, we look at the races to come with, with Darlington and uh, Kansas and Bristol, Darlington being one of my favorite tracks. We've ran really well there and coming off of two really strong races and uh, at Darlington. Uh, and then uh, Bristol being a race we won at and had dominant cars with last fall. There's, uh, there's a lot of energy for us and a lot of great racing to look forward to. We'll go to Lee and then to Jerry. Lee Spencer, catchfence.com. You kind of called your shot because you told TJ, I think Chris and I need to come to the pit road together and we can win this race. I mean, you were that confident. Yeah, I know. We've had great cars here at Daytona and Talladega. And, and at the end of the race, we seem to get broke up for whatever reason or circumstances just fall apart on us. And that's that's been frustrating. But I feel like we've had a shot to win the last uh, really three Daytona races. And they've kind of slipped through our fingers with different circumstances. But uh, I was confident that if we could keep, uh, keep together, Chris and I, that uh, this one would be a little different. And Joey had a front row seat for watching you guys finish one, too. And he said, Brad taught Chris everything he knows. <laughs> well... I'm, I'm trying, but, you know, Chris knows a few things on his own, and, uh, you know, he's he's growing. He's in a spot where uh, he can win races like this uh, in a deserved fashion, you know, and uh, he's got a lot to be proud of. Yeah, well, it's still good, right? Yeah. Go ahead, Jerry. Jerry Jordan, KickingTheTires.net. There was a year that, you know, Ross Fenway didn't, didn't make the playoffs, and, you know, here you guys got both cars in. I think you're one of the – I think you're maybe the only team that has all your cars in. Uh, you, you talk about satisfaction and things of that nature. How how does this feel as a as a team owner uh, for for doing this? I mean, obviously it would have been nice to to get up there as you were talking last week to get that win, though. Yeah, tremendous to to get up front and to to be able to control races and uh, you know just execute at very high level while also having the pace and, and just earn it. You know. We're, we're not winning races that we don't deserve to win. And, uh, you know, you'll certainly have races that you lose that you probably deserve to win. But, uh, you know, that, that probably goes both ways. But, uh, you know, I, I think you look at the wins that the RFK's had uh, this year, and, and they're not fluke wins. You know, they're, they're earned wins. And uh, we're proud of that. Uh, but, uh, you know, come Monday, all this kind of washes away, and we're focused on the, the 10 weeks to come. And uh, so we got to soak it up, celebrate the wins, but uh, keep moving forward. Promise we'll go to Deb. Deb Williams, Auto Week. Brad, exactly what happened when you were going in circles back there, and I believe your car was on yeah. fire? You're the first. I, th I did not think it would take four or five questions to get to that <laughs> one. Uh, well, Deb, I was sitting there under red flag, and it just started smoking really big out of the left front uh, rocker panel. And I knew what that meant. I mean, it was about to catch fire, uh, and I was going to get knocked out of the race. Uh, and the only way to stop that was to get air moving through the car, of course, being under red flag, I had to improvise, and there was a uh, 
pad at the bottom of the racetrack. And uh, I knew I couldn't drive around the racetrack without getting in serious trouble, but I figured I could get away with driving on that pad. So I just ran on that pad until the, the flames and the smoke disappeared and uh, called it good. Uh, it's hard to say. Most likely it came from the, the foam uh, insulation overheating uh, as the car was sitting with stagnant air. Um, hard to say if some of the foam broke up in the race and dropped on the exhaust or if the exhaust uh, cracked. Uh, there's a number of things that could have caused it, so it's, it's not really fair for me to speculate. But uh, once it happened, I knew I had to do everything I could to, to fix it or the car was going to catch flames and burn down to the ground and we are going to be out of the race. Are there any questions in the press box? No questions from the press box. Okay, we'll come down here to Dustin. Dustin Long, NBC Sports. First to answer your question, March 2014, Bristol, last time the organization won to Edwards and Stenhouse. Good. I think you were 12th in that race. So nine, 10 years ago? Thanks for the thanks for pulling that up, Dustin. Um, racing reference. Uh, folks at Racing Insights. Oh, okay, competitor. I'm sorry. <laughs> to get the the stage win, to get a playoff point, um, I think you probably may have moved up a little bit in the standings yes. to get another playoff point. How do you look at that? And how does that? I know it doesn't balance not winning, but you always seem to look at big picture type of stuff. So how do you look at big picture and what you attained tonight? Yeah, I mean, it's hard to measure uh, all the things that a night like today will do for us as a company, uh, but I'm sure they're all going to be positive. Um, and, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll kind of work through what that means, but uh, we're building something that's, that's going to be special for a long time, and that's a big goal of mine. And um, I'm, I'm proud of everybody and the team and certainly Chris for his efforts, but, uh, you know, the, the bigger picture is to have a sustainable race team that can win for championships for, for years to come and, and uh, you know, be a perennial championship contender. And, um, you know, today was uh, good progress for that on that front. And one-two finishes are huge for teams. Um, and, uh, you know, this was certainly a, a, another case of that for us. Are there any final questions in the media center? All right. Brad, congratulations. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Glad to hear Ryan.